Dubai is a prime time destination for holidays and vacations, but don't be a tourist in these prisons. I'm your host Yusuf and these are the top 10 strictest prisons in Dubai you won't believe. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever Crime Time uploads a new video. Anyways, hala hala. Number 10, Al Borsha Police Detention Center. It's been bad in Al Borsha. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, said Alfie, a former non-league footballer from London on a UK inmate's experience. When they took him to the CID substance unit, they beat him for an entire five days. He told me police officers tasered him, slapped him in the face, and all they fed him was bread and a little bit of water. He was basically tortured and put in a cell with 30 other people for five days. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm surviving, Mom. I'm surviving. <laughs> The UAE Public Prosecutor's Office said Mr. Hood was convicted based on evidence including the items found in his possession, information on his phone, third-party statement, and his own confession. Mr. Hood had access to an English interpreter at all relevant stages including his questioning, confession, and trial. He was represented in his trial by a defense lawyer whom he selected. Mr. Hood has since appealed the initial ruling in accordance with UAE law and will receive a hearing at Abu Dhabi court. At all times, Mr. Hood has been treated in accordance with the UAE law and applicable international standards. Number 9. Dubai Central Jail In a 2013 study by Reprieve, a company who tries to serve justice for the wrongfully convicted, data they've collected from 124 prisoners at Dubai Central Jail shows that the inmates are being treated terribly. Over 75% said they had been physically abused at some time after their arrest. All but five, 96%, were subjected to questioning by police without ever having seen a lawyer. And 95% were interviewed by prosecutors without a lawyer present. 85% of prisoners said they were forced to sign documents in a language they didn't understand. Of the 78 prisoners who were later able to have these documents translated, 91% said that the documents did not accurately represent what they had said. Number 8. Dubai Women's Central Jail the women in this prison are identified mostly by the color of their clothes, either pink or red. Those in pink clothes are serving shorter sentences and those in red are serving time for more serious reasons. A unique facet of this jail also is the fact that there are kids in it. That's right, there are kids in this jail. They stay with their mothers in prison if no one can take care of them. Because they have to facilitate the children, the prison has a kid-friendly design, with a school and a kindergarten along with some toys for the kids to play with. Number 7. Sharjah Reformatory and Punitive Establishment Brigadier General Ahmed Abdulaziz Shuhail, director of Sharjah's Punitive and Correctional Institution, affirms that the UAE's punitive and correctional institutions respect human rights pertaining to freedom of belief and opinion, healthcare services, and equality. He added that the institution's headquarters comprises a human rights office affiliated to the office of the Deputy Commander-in-Chief of Sharjah Police, who is mandated with ensuring prisoners' human rights are protected. In an exclusive interview with the Emirates News Agency, WAM, Brigadier General Shuhail said, As part of the Directorate General of Punitive and Correctional Establishments at the Ministry of Interior, we seek to achieve several goals, starting with implementing the penalties set forth by legislators and the reform process, and ending with the prisoner's return to his normal life as productive member of society. Number 6. al -Watba. Overcrowded cells, cruel guards, indiscriminate violence. We have all seen and heard the cliches used to describe prisons in the Middle East, and al Watba defies every one of them. It is closer to a residential detention center with living quarters, a clean and well-kept kitchen, a library, a theater, and a workshop. Built 35 years ago, El Watba, about 40 minutes outside of Abu Dhabi city, is the largest and oldest of the Emirates' five prisons. Men's and women's quarters are separated by large metal gates and tight security. But beyond the gates, the women's quarters are decorated with murals of pelicans, falcons, and forts. Number 5. Fujaira Jail Facilities this one is weird. It's a jail facility offering services to anyone willing to pay for them. Fujaira Jail Facilities offers its products and services to customers both local and other parts of Fujaira. This is growing day by day. Fujaira Jail Facilities goes the extra mile to offer its products and services online to increase customer reach. People working here in Fujaira Jail Facility are well trained in problem solving and good market knowledge with experience in Fujaira and business, treating customers with kindness and good manners. Although they sell services and various products, it doesn't say anywhere on their website what exactly they're selling. Number 4. El Razin in the middle of the desert, about 110 kilometers from UAE capital Abu Dhabi, behind the glittering towers is El Razin Prison. Considered the most notorious prison in the Arab world, according to World Prison Briefs classification, 
Al-Razin, nicknamed the Guantanamo of the UAE, was built in the era of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan as an addiction treatment center. However, since 2011, it has turned into a prison for revenge acts against political opponents and human rights defenders, and is one of the symbols of human rights violations in the Arab world. The DGPCE monitors Al Razin in a formal way by having a person visit the prison monthly to check the number of detainees. And when they complain to him about violations, he replies, you deserve what happens to you. It's a natural consequence of your betrayal. Number three, Ajman Central Prison. In this prison in the UAE, some few prisoners are now being a part of a trial service. The trial service includes testing a new way to have money be effective in the prison, even adding a smart supermarket to jail grounds. Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Mubarak Al Ghafli, director of APRE, said that the management is making efforts to achieve the Ministry of Interior's strategic goal of ensuring the provision of administrative services in accordance with standards of quality, efficiency, and transparency, and to enhance the process of resource management and support. Families of inmates can go to any branch of Ejman Bank in the country and deposit the amount of money they wish to send by providing the name and number of an inmate. Number two, punitive and correctional institution. Most prisons just say they're rehabilitating inmates and preparing them for release if they behave properly, but this prison actually is rehabilitating inmates with programs to help them. A program consisting of a number of workshops and other therapeutic rehabilitative activities comprising the skills necessary for the individual to handle themselves and others with these skills broken down as follows. Communication and interpersonal skills, decision making and critical thinking skills, adaptation and self-management skills, other awareness raising and training lectures as required by the participant group, group sessions, and even yoga. At number one, Al Awir Deportion Jail. This jail is where inmates are held when they are deported from the UAE but cannot afford a plane ticket out. Popular individual Bobby Wiene has a charity fund for getting plane tickets to the deportees held in the jail. They said this on Twitter. After our cancelled charity concert, we visited sisters being held at Al Awir Deportion Jail, Dubai. All they need is a flight home for approximately 200 US dollars. Here alone are 600 African girls, 200 Ugandans, and 400 other nationalities, away from the other 20 detention centers. The former MP at the Parliament of Uganda really cares about his people. Thanks for watching. Press that like button if you enjoyed the video or found it interesting, and we'll see you next time.